Nigeria mission in South Africa says no fewer than 600 Nigerians have indicated interest and registered to be evacuated from South Africa. Addressing journalists after meeting with the Senate Committee on Diaspora, chaired by Senator Sura, Sura Judin Ajibola Bashuru, Chairman Diaspora Commission Advocate Dadri Erewa, maintains that in no distant time, those that have registered with the Nigeria Authority in South Africa will be flown back home to Nigeria. Eight policemen are, are in court over incidents of the past, previous, previous incidents. Now, the Buhari administration has actually been engaged. That's the first time that South Africa is charging its policemen to court. So eight have been in court, almost over, almost uh, well over six, seven months now that they've been in court. What we're saying is that let the case end. Let us know the result. But for this particular issue in South Africa, no Nigerian life was lost, but properties were damaged. And then another thing is the issue of fake news. You know, we had fake videos circulating. Somebody just brought a video from nowhere in the world and said, this is MTN being burnt, and it is not true. So to, to the media to and to Nigerians, let's be discerning. Fake news can only destroy, not build. So a lot of fake, new, uh, fake pictures in circulation, fake videos in circulation, which we all also have to discountenance and, um, and um, you know, let, let's agree that something. This is about Africa. Whether it's South Africa or Nigeria, this is about Africa and building the African continent. Eight policemen are, are in court over incidents of the past, previous, previous incidents. Now, the Buhari administration has actually been engaged. That's the first time that South Africa is charging its policemen to court. So eight have been in court, almost over, almost uh, well over six, seven months now that they've been in court. What we're saying is that let the case end. Let us know the result. But for this particular issue in South Africa, no Nigerian life was lost, but properties were damaged. And then another thing is the issue of fake news. You know, we had fake videos circulating. Somebody just brought a video from nowhere in the world and said, this is MTN being burnt, and it is not true. So to, to the media to and to Nigerians, let's be discerning. Fake news can only destroy, not build. So a lot of fake, new, uh, fake pictures in circulation, fake videos in circulation, which we all also have to discountenance and, um, and um, you know, let's, let's agree that something. This is about Africa. Whether it's South Africa or Nigeria, this is about Africa and building the African continent. On his part, Senator Surajuddin Ajibola Bashir said there is inter-parliamentary engagement between South Africa and Nigeria on how to fashion solutions to the issue of xenophobic attacks on Nigerians. The options on the table are much and such a way to achieve the strategic objective of ensuring that we don't repeat on what has happened. And of course, in terms of uh, taking a precautionary method they are to protect the life of Nigerians, at the, a register has been opened for which Nigerians who voluntarily elect to return back to the country have uh, signified their interest and effort is on to ensure that they are brought back I mean, to, to the country, both with the effort of the uh, private uh, airline and also the government will also see what it can do in that uh, regard. Of course, in terms of documentation, the relevant travel certificate will be issued for those who, whose passports had expired to ensure that they come back to the country. And uh, of course, there is also travel advisory on the part of the South African uh, mission, our mission in South Africa, to ensure that uh, Nigerians even know where to go to. The incident in South Africa is not occurring in every nook and cranny of South Africa. It's localized and we want to ensure in order to mitigate uh, whatever disaster may occur, that Nigerians should avoid as much as possible those I mean, red uh, areas, especially the time that the matter would be resolved finally. To those foreigners killed in the xenophobic attacks, claiming that compensation is not the country's constitution.